So now in this video, what we're going to do, we have this integrated circuit again, the SN74HC00N, and this is a quad NAND gate. What we're going to do is use a couple of the NAND gates to make an AND gate. So I've done other, a number of other videos on this integrated circuit recently, but I'm going to kind of rush through what this does. So the top three pins are one of the NAND gates and then there's three pins below it that are the other NAND gate and so we have input input output you can see the yellow jumper going to the LED and a protective resistor it's a one kilo ohm resistor and then one more pin down starts the other NAND gate input input and then this jumper is the output which goes to this LED and then the bottom pin, pin number 7, is the ground pin to help power this and run it. So in any case, you can see the input here comes to this jumper, to that switch. When we close the switch, we give a high signal, 5 volts, to pin number 1. Pin number 2, second pin down, comes to this jumper, again, to a switch. When we close the switch, we give a high signal. So right now, the pins are floating. They're not really connected to anything electrically. It's just like little antennas right here, but we can close them, and uh, if we hit both of them, then the output goes off. It goes low. So we have a high signal to both inputs. The output goes low. So we are going to use pull-down resistors. You'll watch the LED there. It got brighter, and it's going to hold more steady. So already we got an improvement, and uh, we should uh, do that to both of the inputs right there. So right now... The inputs are connected to the negative rail. They're connected through the resistors, but they don't need any current, so it sees zero volts, and so it's holding the output high, really solidly, until we hit both of the switches. So, the point of this circuit now is that we're going to build is to make an AND gate out of two NAND gates. And so what we're going to do, we already made a NOT gate with one of the NAND gates. So what we're going to do is make a NOT gate with the output of this NAND gate. And so we will take one wire, plug it to the output where that yellow jumper is, and plug the other one to the input. Doesn't matter uh, which one, we'll go to just straight or right next to it. So. The output of this one's right next to an input, so we will put that there, and that should be pretty easy to see. And then we will take a blue jumper, plug that one to the output, and to the input of the other, the other input of the other NAND gate. And there you can see now the LED is off. So we have a low signal with uh, both switches right now and the LED is off. If we hit one switch, that LED stays off. Two switches, that LED stays off. We have to hit, give a high signal with that switch and that switch. So now it is an AND gate. And if you're only looking at it as an AND gate, you would get rid of this LED. But that LED helps you see that uh, we're just inverting what the NAND gate is doing. So the NAND gate is still being a normal NAND gate, but the other NAND gate is inverting the signal. We wired it as an inverter. We tied together because both of these jumpers go to the output there. So we tied both of these inputs to the output of that NAND gate. So that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.